Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Teague. Today we're going to be reviewing two mid-sized giants here. We've got the Grand Highlander, we've got the Telluride. What we're going to do, we're going to do an unbiased evaluation of all these inside, outside, technology features, all that jazz, and you're going to decide which one you like best. What's in your wallet? And today I'm filming thanks to Fred Anderson Kia of Raleigh. If you're looking for a new Kia, a pre-owned Kia, go to kiaofraleigh.com. They have a lot of inventory. So here we go. We're gonna walk around the Grand Highlander and then as we phase into the Telluride, you'll be able to see some differences in the front, in the side, and definitely in the back area. Grand Highlander's all new for 2024. The Telluride was refreshed for 2023 model. Telluride's been out since the 2019 model Grand Highlander 2024. So this will be a really interesting comparison. Kia Telluride is extremely spacious, loaded with technology and popular with buyers. Will Grand Highlander have the same destiny? You might be able to help me decide. Let's get started. Remember the band Snap who sang power? I've got the power. It's get, it's get, it's getting kind of hectic. Well, I think they were talking about the battle between Grand Highlander and Telluride. They just didn't know what was gonna happen in these years. Now, to me, this is a fascinating comparison because Kia Telluride, one size fits all. Put on your one size fits all shirt, you look great. And if you want a V6 engine, Telluride's the way to go. 3.8 liter V6 engine gives you 291 horsepower. That's strong. Whatcha? The Grand Highlander's completely different in philosophy, in powertrains, it's got three different options here. One, two, three powertrains, ah, ah. So here's what we've got. We've got this one right here. This one is a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. It gives you 265 horsepower, or you can go with the hybrid option. That's gonna be a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, 245 horsepower. Get better gas mileage that way. Or you can go hybrid max. That'll be on the upper levels. That's gonna give you 362 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque because it takes that 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine, turbocharged, and gives it an electric motor. <laughs> My videos are designed to be fun and very thorough, so if you like this type of content, hit subscribe and join the channel. Thanks so much. With the Grand Highlander, the hybrid option gives you 37 in the city, 34 on the highway. This particular one, the 2.4 turbo, gives you 21 in the city, 28 on the highway. With both of these options, you can either get two-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Whichever one you want to go with doesn't matter to me. But this one has 18 and 24 for MPG because it is not the two-wheel drive. If you went with the two-wheel drive, you'd get 20 and 26. But remember, less gas mileage, but a lot more power. Remember that novel, A Tale of Two Kitties? Oh wait, that was a TikTok video I watched. It was really cute. They were playing with yarn and then jumping on the drapes and stuff. But anyway, a tale of two cities? No, this is a tale of two front ends here. So which one do you like? Big differences in style. Both vehicles have a lot going on in the front. Look at this right here. Just a completely different design. We've got vertical housing right here for the headlights. Really cool. Kia badge. I like that. Toyota just has the Toyota symbol. All right, so which one do you like in the front end here? Look at that, functional. Got a channel air, right? All right. How's that one compared to this one here, Grand Highlander? Now these trim levels here, this is the XLE. It's one of three different trim levels. This one right here, is I think third from the bottom, but it's equivalent to this one. This is the EX, and the Telluride I believe has 10 different trim levels, so it has so many different options for you. But then again, I guess Grand Highlander does also when you figure in the all-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, and the powertrain. Look at these profiles here. I turned the turn signal on so we could see what each of them looks like. This one has a lot of chrome, a lot of silver accents, very sporty looking, I'd say. That's interesting. That is unique, it's one of a kind. I see gloss black accents at the back here, silver roof rails. It's got the body panel accent down here. Look at this, 20 inch wheel. We can compare that one. Okay, so there's this one here, and we're also gonna see the front 
when we look at the turn signal in the side mirror and also here. So let's go over here. I would say Highlander, Grand Highlander, I should say, sorry, Grand Highlander. This one has a cleaner look, if that makes sense. More sophisticated. I think the Telluride looks a little bit sportier. So we've got silver roof rails here. Got some chrome around the window accents. These right here, I believe are 18 inch wheels. Sometimes I need to check myself before I wreck myself. All right, yeah, 18 inch wheels. So we're comparing it against this one right here. And then the turn signal. Boy, this is gonna be a tough comparison, right? Look at the front turn signals on each vehicle here. It's wild. Who gets your vote? I like big butts and I cannot lie. Those other brothers can't deny. It's like our friend Snoop said, don't change the dizzle, turn it up a little. I got a dining room full of fine dime bristles. And I think he was talking about the back ends of these vehicles. Cause these are some fine dime bristles. Woo! Smoking! Now this is gonna be where it's difficult to compare apples to apples exactly. You'll have to go spec by spec at kia.com or toyota.com to really see the up plane. Safe travels, my friends. So yeah, the Telluride, for example, two exhaust ports here. It's got backup sensors, silver bumper accent, 4X. All right, backup camera hidden here. Telluride written out, I like that. Get that open here, power back hatch, the wiper there. And then this has just so much room. A lot, a lot of room. You know, it's interesting, this one right here, the Telluride, you really could compare it on one end versus the Highlander. A lot of people would go that route. Grand Highlander, Kia Telluride has so much space that I thought this would be a good comparison. This might be on a little bit higher end for space. It's just really tough to tell. What do you think about the light design on this one versus this one where you got the C versus the vertical? All right, black bumper accent on this one. And then this one right here. We're gonna keep going here. This one didn't look like it had a power door because it wasn't turned on, but we easily can turn it on. So they both have that. Ooh, plain. Safe travels, my friends. By the way, I'll be at the LA Auto Show next week. If anybody's going, it'd be great to see you all. And then here, look at this. Look at the space in the Grand Highlander, all the way to the front. Has tremendous room. Everything folds nice and flat. Kia has a really cool function where you can lower the second row just by pushing these buttons right here. It goes boom, boom, collapse, collapse. So we can see USB C's right here. Got cup holders. Pretty nice space, right? Let's take a look at the storage space with the seats up and just slightly reclined here. Good room in the Kia. Oh, I like that a lot. That is awesome. Huge space, my friends, huge. Let's come over to Grand Highlander. They look similar, don't they? All right. And this one, what's we got underneath here? All right. No space, got a tonneau cover there. Just a little bit of extra storage space. So this one right here has a handle that you can grip to get into the third row. All right. USB-C, cup holders. Let's get into the Kia. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. We're in. Let's switch it to vlog style. There's no real good way to film this. I've got the seat all the way back, but you can move it forward and backward. So that's a huge advantage there. I've got good headroom. Yeah, see, look, I just slid this forward just like that. Now I've got tremendous room and there's still room for people there. So it just depends on what you wanna do. I could push this button right here and that collapses and sends it forward. I like the headroom in this one. What about Grand Highlander? So on this one here, we can slide it forward. I can grab the grippy here to jump on in. So I'm sitting behind a bench seat, a second row bench seat. So we can change those. Look at that. I can change that. I've got more room here. Legroom's good. How's the legroom 
get over there. That's kind of close, but we can move it back. The headroom's fantastic, fantastic. I've seen somebody sit here who's six foot six comfortably. Right, that's pretty crazy. And then you can also woo, recline the seat, then the headroom is a lot more. So that's with the seat all the way back. And on the Grand Highlander, if I want to move that seat forward, I can just do that to collapse it. He is always known for being loaded with options and features. So let's see if it holds true on Telluride on the inside here. Sunshade, I like that. I like the wood grain trim here. I like anything that breaks up an all black interior. You get different interior color choices, but in this case, we have the black interior. I like this right here, the material, solid bolstering, I feel like, support. Seats are comfortable. And then right here, that's how we can tilt, collapse, all that jazz. Pockets, it's got pockets. 12 volt circular. Uh-huh, it's very nice. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, my friends. We got a sound system in the house. All right, so we've got USB-Cs and they're in the sides of the seat, like this right here. Interesting place to put it, that could be convenient and then matching 12.3 inch screens. All right, it's about to get vibrant in here because the sun's just coming up. Oh, that's soft touch there. Like that, I like the silver trim around there. Pocket, if it was a little bit bigger, might be nice for cups. Let's see what the Grand Highlander has to offer as well. Maybe this will make your mind, the glove box. All right, so look at this here. It's got the silver accent, this piece. Nice to have a storage shelf there. If they had that, I think that'd be cool. Good bolstering right here. The seats are very comfortable in front. We have power seat that does go up and down. It's two-way lumbar support. A little bit of a pocket here. I like that. This is an interesting look. As a matter of fact, the whole look to tell you is going to be 150 million percent different than our friend Grand Highlander. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right. Extra spot here. We can... Use that as storage. Uh-huh. All right. Got the track off button, park hold, different drive modes. That's right, different drive modes like comfort, sport, smart, eco, and snow. That's kind of cool. And we can see the different modes by going like this just all the way across. I love the readout here. I love the purple. It just looks so modern, so cool. This has heated and cooled seats. Speaking of how cool it is, C-O-O-L. R-I-D-E-R, -E it's a cool rider here. All right, we've got wireless charging, USB-A, USB-C, 12 volt circular, and then we have digital temperature control, so that'll be nice for driver and passenger. Rear temperature available as well. And then here we can switch to the nav features. We can go to the home, like this, like this. That's very cool. So we can go to media, all sorts of things that you can do on this particular one. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, very nice. All right, so how do we like this on the inside with the sunglass holders? We've got light, what is that? Oh, that's a microphone. It's like, what is that right there? We've got a moon roof in the house, in the car, or in the house. All right, lighted mirror with slider and here are some ways that you can change your information on the screen so you can get a look at how it varies and now for the grand highlander here okay it's got bigger bottle holders right there sunshade very cool i like that when you get the two seats right here the captain chairs you can do a console that can fit an ipad in there that's kind of nice. So we've got different levers that tilt it, that knock it down, all that jazz here. So yeah, it looks like there's a lot of room in here, just like there is one with the Kia. We have USB-Cs. We have 12 volt circular and rear temperature controls. All right, this one here, complete different philosophy. A Little bit bigger bottle opening. I always like bigger bottles here. I'm sure Joe Rady would like that too because he could fit more Twinkies in the side pockets. USB-C, I like having this storage shelf there. That's an advantage to the Grand Highlander, I think. 
good use of space. All right, got the raised screen here. Again, this is just maybe a simpler look. Does not have a standard moonroof, but you can upgrade. I know that much because I've seen it. Let's look at the glove box here. All right, big pocket there. Just doesn't have a handle like the Kia Telluride. This one's just very different. I feel like the Telluride is much more, call it luxurious inside. Here we go, eco, sport, normal, snow mode, and wireless charging. Let's get up here, USB-Cs, and then we've got digital temperature controls, also for the rear. Let's get on in here in the front of the Grand Highlander. Soft touch here, nice armrest. I'd like to see a little bit more color in here broken up. But it is nice, I mean, this is the black interior, so if you want a lighter interior, you can go with a beige or a gray. We all have those choices here. I like how the Telluride had a passenger power seat that has lumbar support. Grand Highlander on this level does not. All right, it's got it there. So here's what it looks like here. And then let's go sport mode, eco mode, normal mode, snow mode. So we can switch it, just doesn't have a dial like the Telluride does. And then you kind of move things around by just switching it up, going up, down, across, like that. All right, steering wheel controls, get up here. This is a 12.3 inch screen. Looks about the same as Telluride but it's just got a completely different setup here. So you can do this. Everlasting love, do, 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 do. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless, Toyota Audio Multimedia. Got home link for garage door openers, light, light. I like the bigger light on the Telluride. Boy, it's really hard to say who's gonna win here because they're both very good interiors. Very strong. The real question is, who wins for you? The established Telluride or the new kid on the block, Grand Highlander? It's gonna be a tough battle. I did some heavy lifting today and I would love it if you would do a little bit of lifting and just write in the comment section which one you're picking and why. You might like a hybrid of it. In other words, you might like, oh, I love the backseat space in the third row of the Grand Highlander, but I love the dash of the Kia Telluride. I like the MPG of one. I like the power, the choices of different powertrains in one. I like this, I like that. So tell me, woo, which one you're going with. I'm at Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. So hit subscribe, hit follow, whatever platforms you follow, look up Auto Jeff Reviews. Thanks guys so much, see you next time.